searching for solutions to controversial issues affecting hundreds of thousands of residents on both the North Shore and the South Shore. Residents in two parishes, they address some hot button issues with their community leaders in Jefferson Parish and in St. Tammany Parish. WDSU reporter Shay O'Connor live in Jefferson Parish. Shay, you were the only news reporter uh, to attend Jefferson Parish's first meeting addressing homelessness through a new task force. Good evening, T.G. and Sella. Yeah, Jefferson Parish um, task force members, they pretty much tell me that this task force has been in the works for about a year now. This meeting had already be, been planned, but just when it comes to the three people found shot and killed on yesterday here in Jefferson Parish, I just made the urgency even more for an already growing problem. You're looking at that they start fires, drugs, they bring in different things into their community, and people are not having this. And I think job placement is going to be a huge focus, uh, what should be a focus of this committee. We've got to find a way to address this mental health situation. People from all different walks of life make up for the newly formed Jefferson Parish Homeless Task Force, 19 members total. They sit there the entire day because they just don't have any place else to go. Thursday, the group met to discuss how an uptick in homelessness of about 15% since the pandemic has impacted the parish. Where homelessness increases the most is where your housing rates go up. And what is truly needed to address the needs of roughly 400 unhoused people across the parish. Many unaccounted for because they might be living off in a rural area or bouncing around from place to place. The school board social work team calls us every day with families who are not necessarily on the street, but they're sleeping in a hotel, they're with friends. It comes on the heels of a gruesome scene in Jefferson Parish Wednesday morning. Three people found shot and killed in a makeshift homeless encampment here at Shrewsbury and Scott Street. The coroner has since identified the three killed as 53-year-old Warren Fairley. 44-year-old Mindy Robert and 33-year-old Marcy Vincent. The organizer of the task force, Councilman Dino Bonanno, says all three were Jefferson Parish residents and most likely the crime was drug-related. 90% of them are addicted or mentally ill or both. Which speaks to the sole mission of the force. The force aims to get services to people who are dealing with addiction or mental health needs. Now, the parish is expected to receive about $33 million over the course of the next 18 years from the opioid settlement or from an opioid settlement to combat addiction. This is how that force that we just talked about, as well as the services being provided, will be paid for. And something else that's interesting to note, Jefferson Parish does not have a homeless shelter here. A lot of the homeless people have to go to New Orleans if they want to be housed. We're going to continue to follow this situation for you. Reporting live from Jefferson Parish, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.